Tim Hudson, assistant coach of the Sydney Kings. Thanks for talking to the Sydney Kings TV. My pleasure. Now you've had the first year as assistant coach of the Kings. What do you feel like you have learned and how will this impact your second season? Uh, look, you know, I've learned a great deal. Uh, you know, things change every year uh, you know, with the league, but specifically with Moose, I've, I've learned a lot from him. He's a great leader of men. Uh, you know, as far as uh, you know, his people management is, you know, is second to none. I feel I've, I've you know, been lucky enough to work with a lot of championship coaches, and uh, you know, his, uh, his skill in that area is, is you know, phenomenal. His uh, technical ability is, is outstanding, especially for someone who hasn't been uh, coaching, you know, in the league for, for quite some time. So, you know, to, I guess I really appreciated that. You know, I thought that you know that could even be a challenge, uh, but he handled that gracefully. And you know, obviously well supported by Connor Henry. You know, I learned a lot from Connor. Connor had a lot of uh, you know good years uh, in the NBL and then also in the NBA in Europe. So that was uh, you know invaluable itself. Uh, and I learned a great deal from the players. You know, the, the group of guys that we've had, have, uh, you know, it's an outstanding group and there was a multitude of challenges. And whenever you get, you know, the, the challenges that present, it's, you know, you, you've got to turn those challenges into opportunities. And I really felt that, you know, we, we really changed that. You know, we took that challenge and we turned it into something special and we used it constructively. And, you know, we we're you know, fortunate to be able to finish the way we did. Last season we had put together a team quite quickly. This year, we have uh, time to prepare for that. So how have uh, we used that time? Uh, we've used that, used that time diligently. Uh, it, it's, <laughs> look, it's been a breath of fresh air being able to have a, you know, a legitimate off-season to be able to spend that time and, and uh, you know, carefully you know, work through the, the different pieces and, and make sure they all you know, they match well and you know, they, they fit the brand. And so, yeah, it's been, it, it's been great. The Kings have kept a core group of Australian talent. From a coach's perspective, what challenges go into selecting that final team? Well, yeah, look, there's, uh, I think the challenges lie around what you said, around lying around, laying around the core. You know, we've got a, a core group of guys that have come back that you know that, that bought into the brand, are hard workers. Um, they really, you know, you know, drove, you know, that uh, that's you know that, that special work ethic, and that's really what we're looking for. We're looking for guys that will work hard. We're looking for guys that hold a greater purpose. And finding those pieces really takes a lot of work. You know? A lot of that stuff doesn't necessarily surface on the outside in the initial beginning. So when you when you go through those pieces, you want to make sure that you have you know the right kind of pe- you know the right kind of pieces that, that balance in with those that, that are already in the core. I mean, we've had some outstanding achievements within the team. You know, uh, you know as individuals and you know and, and they're guys that are really bought into the team philosophy. So when you when you bring people in, you want to. You want to build upon that chemistry. You, want, you, you don't just want people who are, who are you know, talented and, and, and showcase pieces. They're definitely wanted and we want those things, but we want to make sure that they carry the extra attributes as well. What positions are we still looking for? Uh, right now, we're, we're pretty well looking for another big man. Uh, but again, even that's you know, very dependent on you know, our final import piece. You know, we're looking at keeping our powder dry. You know, we may or, or, or may not exercise that in the short term. So that 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 brings a you know variable in itself. You know, there's uh, there's quite a strong challenge now with the, the effect of the NBA lockout. Um, you know, uh, I guess it's not commonly thought of, but it's, it certainly has a, a significant effect. Uh, you know, on the NBL, because as soon as you know, as soon as you have an effect there, it, it not only flows on from the NBA but onto onto Europe and then. Obviously, onto Australia. So, and there's some there's some things going on in the backdrop, like uh, you know an NBL camp over in Las Vegas uh, that, that, that's that's uh, happening as we speak. So, you know, we're all actively proactive, um, and I'm sure the Sydney Kings have got a, a great handle on it, and and, uh, and we're we're certainly moving in the right direction. What style of uh, basketball are the Kings fans going to see this season? Well, you, you tell me. I mean, you know the brand. Uh, we are what we say. You know, we believe in that in the culture document that we've put forward. You know, it expresses our our you know unrelenting desire to work. You know, selflessly uh, within the group. You know, so 
this team's going to work hard. This team's going to be all about defense. This team's going to be all about you know the finer you know little pieces, the one percenters that's going to give us an extra edge, and we'll and we'll run out of that. You know, so if it's built around that toughness, and, and, and we are true to our brand, and we're an extension of our coach. Uh, you know, in Moose and the, and the boys, they all feel the same way. Uh, this core group, the, the new guys that are coming in, so it, it's exciting. Uh, I mean, you just have a look at our most recent signing and Alex Jones. The guy is an absolute workhorse. You know, yeah, he's, a, he's a ball of muscle and he's, you know, he's skillful, but he has those uh, internal core qualities that, that really set him apart and enabled him to achieve results far beyond his height. Um, you know, his expected necessary skill level, you know, over in the States. So it's, it's an exciting prospect. And, and, you know, when you play defense like that and you work hard like that, it opens up so much on the offensive end. Now, if we go to the offensive end, yes, we've got, you know, we can explode out in the transition. Uh, and we've got some very real pieces who uh, can create it at any given time. You know, but at the same time, they're balanced individuals. You know, they're, they're, they're emotionally balanced and they'll play selflessly for the group. So if they have another guy who's open and you know, presents an opportunity, we'll, we'll feed that. You know? and, and we'll play the game you know, uh, so, so we, we maximise the, you know, the talents of, of the individuals in the group while keeping with their own uh, core philosophies. But we're really big on empowerment. You know, it's, all about, it's all about the team, the guys. Uh, and I think you know, you know, if they have that you know, strong purpose and greater purpose, which I know they will, you know, we, we, you know, we've really worked hard to establish that and, and, and build that. And I guess that's why I asked them the question. So, yeah, it, it'll be an exciting brand of a team that plays hard, plays to our core beliefs, and, uh, and, and that'll churn out an exciting, you know, upbeat uh, product on the court. Tim Hudson, thanks very much for speaking to Kings TV. My absolute pleasure.